Hello students. Today, our topic of discussion in this slide or in this video is about nuclear physics. Nuclear physics also called modern physics as in this, uh, we are going to read about nucleus and the subatomic particles inside the nucleus and the changes associated with that nucleus and the nuclear force. Let's start today's topic nuclear physics here first thing to look what are the key points we are going to discuss in this video we are going to discuss here about atomic number atomic mass atomic structure atomic model isotopes isobar and isotones with that we'll get radioactivity the concept of nuclear change is the radioactivity so let us start nuclear physics first thing to know the father of nuclear physics father of nuclear physics is rutherford whose contribution is who has given a great contribution to the branch of physics so let us start our topic nuclear physics first thing to know what is nuclear physics first thing to know a topic today's discussion topic what is nuclear physics so nuclear physics is all about interaction of proton and neutron so we can get the definition as it is the study of proton and neutron where at the center of atom and the interaction between them the force between them that hold them together in a space of just few fermatometer across means in a very less space what are the interaction between proton and neutron will read in this nuclear physics so nuclear physics is all about the nucleus so to know about the nucleus first you have to look atomic structure as you got many structure of atom given by different scientists that may be thomson model there may be bohr model in that all model in case of atomic model or if we look in case of atomic structure given by different scientists electrons are revolving around a nucleus a definite path called orbit or cell and proton or neutrons present at the center electrons are having negatively charged proton having positively charged and neutron having no charge means center of atom is positive where the negative charge are revolving around it and when we look all this structure in that we'll get electrons and protons are two charge particles where a neutron is having no charge and proton and neutron are present at the center and electrons are revolving around it in a definite axis so when we'll take the concept of atomic structure that at proton and neutron are inside the nucleus of the atom and electrons are revolving around it and when we'll look all this atomic model in that atomic model will get that all the atom are electrically neutral why they are electrically neutral because they are electrically neutral because they are having proton number equal to electron number means number of positive charge and number of negative charge equal for that region every atom is electrically neutral when they lose or gain electron then they'll change to charge ion positive or negative ion so there are some definition first on the nucleons nucleons term mainly used for the nuclear particle means which are present inside the nucleus that may be proton a neutron next one is the atomic number atomic number means the number of 
proton present in the nucleus or the number of electron revolving around the nucleus number of proton and number of electron the same which is the atomic number or one mass number mass number means number of proton plus number of neutron present inside the nucleus of an atom so mass number atomic number are two important part of this atomic structure next one or next point of discussion is isotope isotope means as we are having different element with different atomic number some elements are having atomic number same and mass number different that means number of proton same but number of neutron different according to that we'll get two type of isotopes first thing to know what is isotope isotope means the atom of the same element having same atomic number but different mass number but isotope again two type one is called stable isotope one is unstable isotopes if we look stable isotopes where number of neutron present in the nucleus is nearly equal to number of proton present in the nucleus that is stable that all are the element with atomic number less than 83 and another one is unstable unstable one if we look where number of neutrons are much more than number of proton in their nucleus means number of neutron is very high number of proton is less that all are unstable that are basically the element with atomic number more than 83 or uranium thorium uh, radium this all in the category of unstable isotope next is the isobar isobar means the atom of different elements means isotope in the same element and isobar in the different elements the atom of different elements which are same mass number but atomic number different means number of neutron plus number of proton is same but the number of proton is different so that are in the category of isobar like sodium magnesium both are having atomic number different but mass number same 23 carbon 14 isotope will look carbon is having mass 14 mass number 14 nitrogen having 14 both are having different atomic number so the atom having different atomic number but same mass number in the category of isobar another one is the isotones isotone means they are having different atomic number different mass number but neutron number is same in the nucleus if you look proton number different atomic number different but mass number also different but number of neutron is same that are in the category of isotone so next one is the topic of nuclear change the discovery of nuclear change here is the radioactivity after the discovery of x-ray by Rongent, Rongent first went discover about the x-ray all scientists took the research and they tried to find out some more rays more radiation which are having more penetrating power than Ron that Rongent's x-ray means x-ray can penetrate through our skin but stop by our bone so they tried their level best to get a ray or radiation which can pass through our skin also in that first scientist who came with a ray which is having penetrating power more much more than x-ray is Henry Vacquerel. Henry Vacquerel kept an unstable nucleus or simply we can say that he kept some uranium in a dark room in a black paper and kept on a photographic plate after some days Becquerel discovered that there is certain effect on the photographic plate and with that effect Becquerel 
got the observation, got the conclusion, there is another ray which is having more penetrating power than X-ray. That ray, up to the name of scientist given as Becquerel rays. But Becquerel rays, positive, negative, or no charge, what is the effect on electric field and magnetic field was not discussed or not described properly by Becquerel. So, in further experiment, in 1903, Rutherford experimental study the nature of radiation emitted by radioactive substances. So, in that experimentally, it is found by our Rutherford that there is some positive radiation, some negative radiation, and some radiation. So, now we have our discussion topic is radioactivity. So, first thing to know. What is radioactivity? Radioactivity is a nuclear phenomena. Nuclear phenomena means there is a nuclear change inside the nucleus of an atom. And spontaneous emission of alpha or beta and gamma is radioactivity during that decay, disintegration. Means when nucleus disintegrate. Either they will emit alpha or beta and gamma. Means three type of radiation coming out from a unstable nucleus, which is also called radioactive nucleus, and the total process is radioactivity. And this process is a random phenomenon, means there is no law acting on this. There is no definite time up to how much it will disintegrate, when it will disintegrate, and we cannot predict, we cannot calculate. So, radioactivity is a nuclear change. There is no chemical law, chemical effect on this. Endothermic, geothermic, redox reaction, this all is not applicable in case of a nuclear change. So, next thing to know is the radioactive substance. But before that, SI under radioactivity because radioactivity concept after Becquerel less only we got that for that region SI unit of radioactivity the Becquerel Curie also unit use Rutherford also the unit use but the SI unit is Becquerel. So here we are having another part of this the radioactive substance. What is this radioactive substance? When atomic number of any element become more than 83, its mass number is much more than atomic number. Means number of neutron is much more than number of proton. If we look in case of uranium, 92 atomic number, 235, 236, 238 atomic number, 3 isotopes. So, 235 as the mass number, 92 as the atomic number. 235 minus 92 it will do it is coming 143 means 143 is the number of neutron whereas 92 is the number of proton and because of this difference substance disintegrate a substance give out radiation or emit radiation in the form of alpha or beta and gamma here I am telling people look alpha or beta. Which time alpha, which time beta? Whenever number of neutron is much more than number of proton, that time it disintegrates alpha. When the difference is not that much, that time they will emit beta. Means uranium, polonium, thorium, radium, all these are radioactive substances which are kept in the long form periodic table. If you look, all these are having a separate part actinide series. So, radioactive substances are that substance which spontaneously emit radiation in the form of alpha or beta and gamma to lose their energy to come to, to attain the stability to attain the stable condition. So, in this radioactive part, two force acting on it, a two force we get in the radioactivity in the nuclear. First one, if we look, electrostatic force. Electrostatic force is between two charged particles. 
प्रोटन न्यूट्रॉन प्रोटन इलेक्ट्रॉन और प्रोटन प्रोटन मींस प्रोटन प्रोटन बोथ आर पॉजिटिव प्रोटन इलेक्ट्रॉन वन इज पॉजिटिव वन इज नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव ऑलवेज हैविंग अ फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन नेगेटिव चार्ज एंड पॉजिटिव चार्ज और ऑपोजिट चार्ज ऑलवेज हैविंग अ फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन मींस बोथ दिस फोर्स फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इन बिटवीन टू चार्ज पार्टिकल दैट मे बी पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव और नेगेटिव नेगेटिव this all are in the category of electrostatic force we will come to nuclear force the force acting between the nucleus uh, or inside the nucleus of a substance means between the nucleons nucleon means between proton 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 neutron 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 inside the nucleus that force is the nuclear force so nuclear force is the important part or the in nuclear physics we will get about the nuclear force or when a substance is having nuclear force much more than electrostatic force it will become unstable so here some types of uh, nuclear force proton proton pp proton neutron pn or neutron neutron nn so radioactivity concept is based on nuclear force the nuclear force is much more than electrostatic force a uh, nucleus become unstable and total radioactivity concept is based on the concept of based on the concept of unstable nucleus here we are going to discuss about the third four experiment the third four in 1903 describe the charge of all these radiations means whenever uh, we want to know the charge of any given uh, substance we have to pass them through electric field or magnetic field so here in this arrangement if you look a radioactive substance uranium is kept inside the lead block because lead is less affected by radioactive radiation and it is having a narrow hole if you look here it is having a narrow hole why it is having a narrow hole this part if you look this is a narrow hole this narrow hole it is because less amount of radiation can come to the lead box to outside means whenever more amount of radiation is coming out it is difficult to control them because they are having amount of energy very very high so when a beam of radiation will come out from this uranium or radioactive substance from the lead box to outside we have placed here two charge plate one is positive charge one is negative charge and at last if we observe here this is a photographic plate means when this radiation passed through this charge plates three marks came on this photographic plate one at the up one down and one descent means as they got three type of radiation or simply we can say that one ray was going towards positive side one is going towards negative side one is going straight that means that one is having positive charge which is going to a negative side one is having negative charge which was going to a positive side and one is going straight means no charge and there are three type of radiation rutherford got in his experiment that gamma rays which is going fully straight having no charge alpha which is having positive charge was going to a negative plate and beta which was going towards positive side is having a negative charge deflection if you observe here deflection of alpha and deflection of beta beta is deflecting more from its original part or original way original direction but in case of alpha the deflection is less means alpha particles are having mass in compared to here we got 
the three type of radiation first radiation gamma which was going fully straight having no charge one is beta which was going to a positive plate having negative charge one is alpha which was having positive charge going to a negative plate because of force of attraction between two oppositely charged particles and reflection of beta is more than alpha means alpha is having mass more and beta is having mass less in our next video we are going to discuss about more characteristics of alpha beta and gamma and when a nucleus emit alpha particle what are the changes will occur in the nucleus if a nucleus emit beta particle then what are the changes occur in the nucleus and can it be possible for a element with atomic number less than 83 to be radioactive so wait for the next video subscribe and you look this video repeatedly and subscribe my channel for more updates and more videos of physics for icse and like my videos Leave your comments on the comment box. Thank you.